Welcome back to the Ibu Tracy to channel. Today is class to be learning how to make this beautiful dress. It's a very simple dress and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so for this tutorial, I have my fabric folded into four. I'm cutting the front and back together. It's a free dress, so I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to be hiding any zipper to this. And the neckline for the front is also very, very low, so it will be easy for the wearer to wear it easily. So there's no zipper allowance. I'm cutting the front and back the same way. So now I have a total length of 18 inches here. My half length is actually 17 inches, but I'm adding one inch seam allowance for sewing it to the lower part and also for joining the shoulder together so the shoulder that i'm working with is seven and a half inches that's 15 inches by by two that's my shoulder and i'm going to mark it there i'm going to go down by one inch for my shoulder slope this is just like drafting a regular basic for this and then the neckline that i'm working with is three inches by one inch for front for the back sorry then three inches by the front is actually very deep but it's totally up to you and what you want to achieve so i'm going to be using around 10 inches for the length of my front that's why i don't want the width the neck width to be too wide so that the boobs will not be too exposed so this is my shoulder slope and this is my neckline so for the front neckline for the back neckline i'm going to cut the back first and that's one inch and i'll connect that so let me change this chalk i hope this is more feasible okay so this is my neckline the fabric is like a chiron fabric so it's shifting and this is the shoulder slope here okay so my ham hole is nine inches so here i have my nine inches and on that point i'm going to take my bust measurement the bust is 40 divided by 4 is 10 and then i'm going to add half an inch for ease because like i said it's not going to be a tightly fitted dress and then i'm going to add another one and a half inches for my seam allowance so there i'm going to connect to form my ample cuff using this um, for using this curve driller and then i'm going to connect like this so this is what we've been doing on the channel already so so this is my hammer curve the waist is 38 36 36 divided by 4 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches so i'm adding half an inch to that also and that's going to leave me with nine and a half inches and then i'm going to add one and a half inch for my ease so i'm going to connect this together and that is all i have to do for the main bodies so i'm going to cut this half now and then i'll cut my back neckline first then after cutting the back neckline i'm going to remove the back panel so that I can cut my front neckline and like I said it's very deep so I don't want that to affect the back body so I have it like this I'm going to just open it up and remove it like I said it's, it's a very shaky fabric so that's the back removed now I'm going to connect for my front so for the front remember we already took out one inch for the back neckline so i'm removing that right here now i'm going to mark the length so you can leave the length as it is like as nine inches like i said depending on what you want but i want mine to be really deep so i'm going to be taking it up to almost the under bust area so that's around 14 inches for me so this is the length for my neckline for the front you can see how low it is that was why i said you don't need a zipper for this you can wear it easily so using this curved side of my ruler i'm going to connect them like this to form my v-shape it can even be up to your waist length depending on what you want but this is fine for me so now from here 
I'm going to cut my front neckline. So when you're cutting it, you don't want it to be too wide. You can see how I just cut it narrow. When I open it, this is what it looks like. If it's too wide, it's going to be exposing the boobs, and you don't want that. So just be mindful of where you're cutting. You can see the distance that I have between this. It's better for it to be smaller. If it is smaller, you can easily adjust it. But if it's too wide, there's really nothing you can do about it. So that's the front and this is the back. There's no dart for this. It's a free dress. So I'll just take it to the sewing machine, join it on the shoulder, and then also join it on the sides okay so i've sewn it on the shoulder and also on the side so this is what i have so for the lower part you just need to measure what you have on your waistline and whatever it is that you have you can multiply it by one and a half or two inches but if you want it really full you can multiply yours by three inches so mine i measured round what i have and i multiply this by two so that's going to be the width for my fabric that i want to gather for the lower side of this so i've gone ahead to cut out the fabric and i have a fabric of my waist is around 38 inches multiplied by two is giving me something around 76 so i have a fabric of 76 inches width now and the length is what is going to complete the full dress remember the waistline of this is 37 inch uh, is 17 inches okay so from the shoulder to this waistline is 17 inches and the full length of the dress is 37 inches so i'm going to deduct the 17 inches that i've already cut for my half length from the full length of 37 inches so i'm left with 20 inches so the 20 inches is what the length of my lower part is going to be so i added one inch seam allowance to that also and then okay so like i was saying this is 21 inches in length and the width is 76 inches so you can see we have 21 inches here so what i'm going to do now is gather all of these 76 inches to fit into what i have here on my waistline i'm going to gather it around and remember there is no zipper here because we have increased this waist so it's going to enter and the fabric is even a bit stretchy so i don't need a zipper for this i'll take this to the sewing machine now gather it around and then bring it back so that we can work on the sleeve okay so i've gathered it and this is what the dress is looking like so the next thing now is to fix our sleeve so i've fixed one of the sleeve which is for this side so i'm going to be showing you how to fix the other one so this is one of the sleeve so now we're going to be fixing the other sleeve to fix the other sleeve i'm going to get a fabric so the length that you're going to be using for this fabric depends on how long you want it to be you can see that this fabric is on fold okay i've placed it on fold like this and the measurement you're going to use to place it on fold is how long the sleeve is going to be usually you can just maintain what you have as the length of the dress just like we have on the thumbnail which is 37 inches but i don't have enough fabric so i'm just leaving mine as around 27 okay so this is what i have so now the length that i'm working with now is 27 for front and 27 for back that's why it's on food so if it's no longer on food it should be around 50 six or 57 inches there about so just make sure what you how long you want it that's from your shoulder to wherever it is that you want the you see that it's a flowing sleeve so it depends on how long but what we have on the thumbnail looks like it's same length with the dress length so if you have enough fabric you can just mesh, use what you have as your dress length but if you don't have enough just use whatever it is that you have so me i'm using 27 inches for my length and then the length measurements you need is how where you want this leaf to stop so for me also i want it to stop around my elbow area which is 13 inches as you have seen and then i added one inch extra for seam allowance so now what i fold what i have here is 27 inches on fold and then the the width that i'm using is my shoulder to my elbow measurement which here is 14 inches so that is all the measurements you need so to create the armhole that you're going to work with you need to measure your armhole 
so now you can use your basic sleeve you can just place your basic sleeve to shape out your arm over i'm just going to be creating a small curve for my hand hole so the hand hole length that i'm working with is nine inches so i have nine inches here from the folded points i'm going to measure the nine inches and it stops here so where it stops i'm just going to go inwards by half an inch or one inch depending on what you're going to use to sew so once you have it like that i'm using my free hand now i'm just going to cut into the half an inch to be able to sew this then once i have that i'm going to curve it a bit to meet the the upper part so you can see what i have so now i'll take this to the sewing machine this half inch that i went in by i'm going to go ahead and sew it downwards all the way from here to the hem then after sewing it to the hem this open part that i have here now i will sew it to my ham hole okay so i'm gonna have to sew this now and this is what it looks like you can see it so i have this other side opened like this so now i can turn it to the right side this is what the sleeve is looking like now so this small space that we have here you're going to pin it around your ham hole and then you sew it to the ham hole so that is how i've created this there are several ways you can create this it's just this is just one of the simplest ways you can create this type of sleeve so now i'm going to pin this now starting from the underarm so before you cut this now you can check if what you have there is going to take your arm all around if it's not enough you can just increase it or decrease it as the case may be so just check before you cut it but mine is fine for me so i'm just going to pin it around the ham hole now and then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine too. so you can see that i have exactly what i need so you can see that it's just perfect so i'll take it now and sew it around so once i sew it around this is what it's going to look like so you're going to sew this around your ham hole as i have done for this other side then you have this side open like this so now this part where you went to sew it the half inch that you went to sew you need to set this or you just use a french seam so that you don't see your seam allowances here and then this open part also you're going to hem it around so that you have something in it and then on your neckline also you hem it and your dress is ready so here on the waistline because we did not use our actual waist measurement it's going to be a bit bigger than what you have on your waist so you can go ahead and create a button a belt o so that you can make a belt to adjust the size of the waistline and your dress is ready so now i'll take the other sleeves to the sewing machine now i'll sew it and then i'll take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like okay so this is what the dress looks like on the mannequin the sleeves have been fixed now and you can see what the sleeve is looking like this is the deep v that we have at the front and like i said you don't want your nipples to be showing so you have to be mindful when you're cutting the deep v at the center front so i used a rope to gather the waistline to see to have this fitness that i have there and this is the full view of the dress i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me on the sleeve area you just need to weave it on the hem all round and also where we joined it at the center front here and you are good to go if you enjoyed this tutorial let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye